Lord God, as we listen, as we look, as we wait and as we prepare, draw us closer, ever closer, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please sit down. Over the past couple of weeks, uh, we've delivered just under two and a half thousand cards door to door. There are about 30 or 40 left in the Narvex uh, into the approximately 7,300 residential letterboxes of our parish. Uh, apologies to those to whom we've still not been able to supply cards. Uh, thank you to all those of you who were so willing to help I realise that this did come at some cost to your time and also cost to you. I have a whole new, genuine respect for postmen and women across our land uh, dealing with high letterboxes, exceedingly low letterboxes, bizarrely complicated letterboxes and just very so often vicious letterboxes which attempt to remove your fingers or if not your whole arm as you seek to post a letter through them. Who knew that there was such variety I think I should set up in designing letterboxes from now on. I've learned where some of the streets are within our parish, though I fear I will forget again, but it's a good start. Uh, I've witnessed all manner of house and home design and preference, those that have been lived in for years, those which have perhaps recently been renewed and refreshed, uh, those decorated for Christmas, inside and out. There's a fine array of Christmas wreaths around Harrogate. I never knew there was such variety of those, either in size, in colour, in style, those that are very chic, those that are simply enormous, those which almost hide the door, let alone the letterbox. Uh, it's been a good sight to see alongside uh, the lights, the trees, the Santas, the sleighs. Uh, there were welcome mats, which appear to mean it, some which quite clearly only come out at Christmas and you don't feel really you should stand on them because they're so pristine, so you end up straddling the doormat to reach the letterbox. You're thinking, this is peculiar, but nevertheless, I don't want to be the one to make this dirty. Uh, alongside the welcome, there are also those where the signs say, uh, no canvases, no cold callers, no salespeople, no junk mail, no charity bags, no religious groups. Uh, most bizarrely, those latter ones, when paired alongside a Merry Christmas sign. <laughs> These, with such signage, uh, went without one of our cards at their own request. I don't regard it as junk mail, they might. Uh, we were careful to close the gates in good farming tradition, careful to be as quiet as possible with the letterboxes. Genuinely, you never know when people might be asleep. And we sought to show, as well as leave, a happy Christmas wherever we went. Two and a half thousand cards, which at very least say happy Christmas and blessing for the new year which say welcome to this place and all that is offered and, and takes place here. Whether or not they take up that invitation now, our next task, of course, will be to ensure that we provide that welcome if or when they come. Two and a half thousand cards. Whether they are consigned immediately to the recycling, whether they get lost among all the other decorations of that home, or whether they are one of the one, two, or few cards which come to that home this year. Thank you. What does any of that have to do with John the Baptist? Isn't it obvious? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? They ask. If only there was a song to convey that question and sentiment. Uh, this wild, forthright, determined man, John the Baptist, is very upfront. He doesn't deny what he is not, but he accepts and proclaims the extravagant truth 
of who he is. That one foretold, that one in the wilderness, that one that precedes, foreshadows, foretells the Messiah. Oh yes, I'm he, he says. Who proclaims Christ now, if not you? Who carries him, be it in scowl or frown or smile, if not you? Who takes him into town by bus or car or foot? Who takes him home, yours, your neighbours? Stranger or those yet known, if not you. Oh, but I can't. Of course you can. I'm not saying you are John the Baptist. Of course you're not. I'm not saying you're Elijah or one of the prophets and you're not the Messiah either. But you are a voice, a loving human, a believer, experiencing amazing reality of God in your own days, truly in your joys and in your struggles, in love and in fear, a light and a grace in the wilderness. The Messiah arrives redeeming mankind and letting all discover eternity. And we pass that on. We who receive this, who taste this, are fed by this, have all this to share with the world. The world. The world. Be it in its entirety, its country, its community, a neighbour, a loved one, or even ourself in need in wilderness fear, in longing and in hope, a world, a world, a world, a nation, a community, a self, that is so ready, so hungry for something which truly feeds, truly restores, gives all that we need to calm our fears, restore our souls, to let us function, humanly function, love freely, live. We have that which we can give. You have that. Oh, you really do. I've been coming to know you now for nearly three years and you can really do this. Don't look around you for something extraordinary which somehow you've never noticed before as if it's just appeared. For it is in you. It is what you count and class as ordinary. Bathe the world in your goodness, in what you receive. That way, like any good garden that is tended and cared for and pruned, it will flourish, it will grow, it will blossom. Tiny tokens of faith and friendship become to others a great stream. Be all that you are. 
in Christ. That's all that John did. He just didn't do anything less. He ate locusts and wild honey. For you, it might just be a sandwich. But your hand turning a card through a letterbox, your welcome at the door, be it of your home or this church, your invitation and kindly word in a pew, your passing a cup of tea or coffee across the counter, or noticing someone standing alone, all perhaps unseen by you, but perhaps one day someone says, because of all that, you go to Christ church, don't you? Who are you? You're everything beloved of God. In whatever struggles you are going with and in whatever delights you, you're the recipient of promise and the visionary faithfully looking for more. Your hundreds, thousands, millions of voices speaking truth into places of wilderness. Yes, you are in Christ. Amen.